All right, here's the deal. It's important to ask a woman about her values, her hobbies and interests, because that builds connection and connection is great. But if you only stick to those friendly topics, you're gonna end up as a friend. If you wanna be a sexual option to her, you need to bring up sexual topics that involves subjects like dating, relationships, attraction, past sexual experiences, etc. And the easy way to do this is with questions. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 21 sexual-ish questions you can ask a woman that turns her on and makes her sees you, see you as more than a friend. I recommend that you note these down carefully and start using them right away. So let's dive in. I'm Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. Every week, I'm gonna give you the no BS insider info about what women really want versus what they say they want, plus the most effective methods to win over any woman you like. So hit that subscribe button now so you never miss a video. So before I dive into these 21 sexy questions, I want to take a second to talk to your penis because penis, once I share these questions that turn your conversation sexual, you will need to be ready to be used. And that's where today's video sponsor comes in, Joy Mode. Joy Mode makes sexual, no they don't, they make natural and science-backed sexual wellness products for men. Joy Mode was created because the products on the market like prescriptions and over-the-counter gas station pills are awful for you and can hurt you in the long run. So I would much rather you take a supplement designed to spice things up naturally rather than a prescription drug that can have harmful effects down the road. So whether you are happy or unhappy in your performance in the bedroom, why not improve your performance? Joy Mode's sexual performance booster is like a pre-workout but for sex. It's like going to the gym, right? Or before you go to the gym. You can take it anywhere from 45 minutes to five hours before you have sex and you can expect to get one of your best directions. So if you wanna spice things up in the bedroom, and boost your sexual performance and do it naturally without like gross prescription drugs, then give Joy Mode a try. Go to usejoymode.com slash Marnie or enter Marnie at checkout for 20% off your first order. That's usejoymode.com slash Marnie for 20% off your first order. I can't speak today. Thank you Joy Mode for sponsoring today's video. All right, now let's get into these questions. Okay, so one more thing. So before we get to these questions, there's an important rule that you need to learn about getting sexual with a woman. This is my disclaimer and I'll explain it with a quick story. So years ago, I was at a bar in Toronto with two of my girlfriends when this, like, this cute guy walked up to us. He came up to us and asked a question. My friend and I have a bet going on and we want you to settle it. Who do you think is more kinky by nature, men or women? We were kind of shocked by this question and one of my girlfriends immediately re replied with, dude, are you serious right now? Why are you asking us that? And the moment she said that, I could see the shame and embarrassment in the guy's face. He immediately started to apologize. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to be weird like that. I I'm so sorry that it came off like that. Like, that's what he kept saying, things like that. And my girlfriend replied, well, it was weird. So he apologized again and then he walked away. Now, cut to a few years later and we're at a get together at a friend's house. And this guy walks up to one of my girlfriends and asks her this question. Hey, quick question. Do you think women masturbate more than men? She was obviously taken aback with the question and gave him a look that said, did you really just ask me that? But this time, without skipping a beat, this guy told her, Oh, please, we're all grown ups here. We all do it. Drop that goody two shoes act with like a cute smile on his face. The shock on my friend's face immediately turned into a smile. And she answered his question and proceeded to have a playful debate with the guy about the topic of masturbation. Now, why did this guy's question lead to a conversation while the previous guy was met with complete disgust and disapproval? Well, here's the thing whether it's friends or family, religion or media, most of us are raised to think that expressing our sexuality is wrong. This manifests in us as sexual shame. This is especially true for many women who are afraid of being seen as slutty or too easy. And because of this, women often won't signal their interest first, and they won't talk about anything sexual until you do. In the stories that I just told you, the second guy embraced his sexuality and acted as if the topic of sex is normal and not a big deal. And because of that, my girlfriend felt more comfortable about embracing her own sexual side and talking about that. And that's what you have to do. Deep down, women love and desire sex as much as any guy does. But to consider having sex with you, a girl has to think about sex 
especially with you. She can only do that if you show her that sexual conversations aren't shameful, that your attitude has to convey that it's completely okay and natural. That said, now let's get to how to start a sexually charged conversation. Guys always wonder about when is the right time to approach sexual topics, and the answer is really simple. There is no right time to start talking about sexual topics. If she's been talking to you for a while, whether it's on a date or when you first meet her and she looks to be engaged in the conversation, that's the green light, right? It can be any time. From there, there is no perfect moment. There's no thing to say like, ooh, now she's ready to talk about it. Yes, if you're already talking about subjects like past dates, relationships, online dating, etc., then of course it'll feel most natural. But even if you're not, stop waiting for the perfect moment to transition. You just need to take that leap of faith just assume if you've been talking for like a minimum of 15 minutes on a date or at a bar, a simple segue is all you need. So for instance, let me ask you a personal question. That's how you would do it. Or, so tell me the truth, or even this one. Okay, that's enough small talk. I wanna get to know the, re the real you. Now tell me, and you proceed to ask your question, right? Which brings us to what questions should you you ask her. Of course, you don't want to go super intimate, super sexual with the first question. Maybe not even the second or third question. That might come off as too intense and discourage women from opening up. The best practice is to start with lighter questions and then go to more intimate ones based on how she responds. So I'll give you some examples now because I know you've been waiting for them. So we'll start off with the light ones and we'll call these level one questions. So here are the examples. Number one, what qualities are you most attracted to in a guy? Number two, are you the type of person who likes public affection? Number three, when was your first kiss and how did you feel about it? Number four, what's your favorite way to flirt with a guy? Number five, what's the ultimate dream date for you? Number six, have you ever had a crush on someone you worked with or someone you shouldn't? Number seven, what do you think is the key to a successful relationship? Okay, now we can turn it up a notch. These are a little bit more intimate. We'll call these level two questions. <laughs> okay, so the first one in this category is, do you consider yourself a sexual person? Number two, what do you think makes a good lover? Number three, if you could pick one thing that makes you feel sexy, what would it be? Number four, have you ever had a friends with benefits? Number five, when was the first time you had sex? Number six, do you feel comfortable trying new things in the bedroom? Number seven, do you like to be more dominant or submissive in the bedroom. All right, now let's go up another level to number three, level three questions, AKA, AKA the highly intense ones. So number one, where's the craziest place you've ever had sex? Number two, how long do you think you could go without sex? Number three, what's something that secretly turns you on? Number four, what's the hottest thing a guy can do during sex? Number five, what's one thing you've always wanted to try in the bedroom? but haven't tried. Number six, what's your favorite type of foreplay? And number seven, have you ever had a one night stand? See how these still are not so sexual, but they're personal. Like I said at the start, you don't have to use all of them. <laughs> Just pick one or the ones that gen genuinely make you curious and drop them into conversation. Remember that these subjects will often trigger feelings of something in a woman. Sometimes you'll be met with hesitation and surprise when asking a woman a more intimate question. She might challenge you and put you on the spot about why you're asking about this sensitive subject or this personal subject. And whenever you ask these questions, you have to respond by owning it, right? Don't apologize for it. Let's say you ask, do you consider yourself a sexual person? And she responds with, did you really just ask me that? Or, oh, that's really personal. You can say with a playful smirk on your face, yeah, I did. And I know it is. I want to get to know you personally. Or maybe she says, why are you asking that? You can say, because I think it's important for people to be comfortable with their sexuality. It's such a natural thing. Plus, it's fun to talk about. Alternatively, you can give her some words of encouragement to help open her up. So let's say you ask, uh, what's the craziest place you've ever had sex in? And she says, why do you want to know that? You can say something to the extent of, I just out of curiosity, I promise I won't judge. Or you could say, look, there's no pressure here. I'm just excited to learn more about you. And this is part of knowing about you. The third and perhaps the most foolproof way to make her feel comfortable with a sexual topic is by opening up first. So let's, let's say you ask, what do you find most attractive in a guy? And she looks at you nervous. 
maybe she doesn't know. And you could go first and say, I personally find a sense of humor to be very sexy, a very sexy quality in a girl. Or let's say you ask, what was your first kiss like? And she gets defensive and asks, why, why do you want to know? Or she shuts down. You could just reply with, I'm just curious. Mine was absolutely horrible. I was so nervous, had no clue what I was doing, but I like to think I'm better now. If after all your efforts, she's still uncomfortable about answering the question, don't linger on it. You just move on to something else, right? It's not a topic for her to talk about now. Also, here's something to remember as well. You don't have to talk about sexual topics all the time. A couple of these questions is all you need to go from a potential friend to a potential sexual partner. Speaking of which, if you'd like to know more about making a woman want you sexually, you should definitely check out my free course called Five Things You Actually Need to Make Women Want You. And I put the link in the description box below. I think it's the second link. This free course cuts through all the BS and gives you the most essential ingredients of attraction. It's got five short and simple videos that you can watch over like I was gonna say a cup of tea. They're really, really fast. And it will show you how to attract any woman, even if you think she's out of your league, how to get her attention without saying a single word, techniques to beat anxiety and talk to any woman confidently, and the easiest ways to start a conversation and flirting lines and tactics that build massive attraction. And there's like, there's so much more. You get so much value out of these five videos. If you want a quick and easy, no BS guide on attracting women, this course, this free course is for you. So click the second link in the description and discover the five things you actually need to make a woman want you. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Lastly, thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you found it useful. You should, because I think it's really useful. And as always, I'll see you again next week.